Welcome to your third tutorial on HTML. Today we're going to look at unordered and ordered lists. Now lists are pretty much an everyday part of life, right? We're constantly putting together lists. You know, you think of a, a recipe and you have to have a list of ingredients. Um, if you go to the grocery store, you have to have a list of items you have to buy. And if you look at virtually every web page, they will always have some sort of list. And whether that's a menu or just a bullet list, we're always putting together lists. Now, HTML provides two main ways to do lists, unordered and ordered lists. And as we looked at in the previous lessons, it's just a simple tag that we need to create. And so an unordered list is created with the UL tag, and an ordered list is created with the OL tag. Now, I will say right off the bat that unordered lists is kind of the default thing people use when they're designing websites. I would say ordered lists are used to a lesser extent, but we'll look at both of these today. Now, what's common to both unordered and ordered lists is the LI element tag. Now, the LI element is actually the list item, and I will show you that here in a few minutes. So again, unordered lists and ordered lists, and again, both will use the li element tag which is embedded inside either the ol or the ul element and so let's first take a look at an unordered list okay so within our body tag and remember everything goes within the body element so let's go ahead and create our ul tag and then let's go ahead and close it and now we've got our unordered list element now let's hit the tab button so that we can read these easier and then create a couple spaces and then we'll create our first li tag and remember this is where our actual list element goes so let's imagine we're creating a menu for our website and we want to sell cds uh, dvds and blu-ray so the first list item that we'll put will be cd so again we'll just close that and we can go ahead now and just go ahead and copy and paste that and we have to create another list item for our dvd And let's go ahead and create a list element for Blu-rays. Okay, great. And actually let's create a space there and now this is nice and neat. And so now we've got our nice list that we want to display on our web page. And of course we use the list tag to accomplish that. So let's go ahead now and render this web page and let's save this as an HTML document. And there you see, we've got our nice list here displayed. Now, later on when we get to the CSS tutorials, we will actually use this HTML ordered list and create a very fancy menu. We'll use CSS to style each one of these list element tags and create nice hover menus and add colors and all sorts of things. But for now, you need to understand how the HTML works at a base level before we get to CSS. So let's go ahead and go back into the code and we'll look at an ordered list now. And it's very similar, actually. We just need to, uh, actually, we'll do a little bit of uh, copy and pasting here. So we'll just take this, and we will just create our OL tags here. And let's go ahead and save this as an HTML file again. And there you see the difference. This is why this is called a ordered list, because we have numbers here. That's really the only difference. This one creates bullets and this one creates numbers. So it's really what you prefer to use. Now, later on when we get to CSS, like I said, we will style each one of these tags and create a lot of different effects. And one of the things you can do is you can actually remove these bullet points and numbers with CSS. But again, we'll get to that when we get to CSS. Okay, that's gonna do it for this HTML video. I will see you guys in the next one.